Yo, what's up, people? This is Andrew McCain. I'm back once again, and I'm doing a review of the Ultimate Stage Pianos VST. It's a VST that's based on the Nord keyboard. Uh, and to me, the Nord is, it has the best piano sounds in any of the keyboards that are out today. Now, VSTs is a whole nother story. Um, you could debate that, and I could probably talk about that in another video. But as far as keyboards go, I don't think the piano sounds get much better than the Nord. And that's the reason why you'll see a Nord in almost every uh, concert that happens nowadays. You'll see, um, you'll see them on you know the biggest stages. You'll see them in intimate stages. And part of the appeal is that red uh, keyboard. Just seeing that red keyboard is aesthetically pleasing and people just love to see it. But beyond that, it sounds really great. So this Ultimate Stage Pianos has put uh, the main sounds from the Nord into VST form. And a lot of people are wondering, well, does it sound like the Nord? Uh, how close, how accurate is it? Is it worth my time? I personally don't have a Nord, but I feel like I have all that I need with this VST. All right, so I'm not going to take too much more of your time. I'm going to go right into it. We're going to start uh, just going sound by sound. So I'm starting now with the Royal Grand. All right, so that's like a quick uh, sample of how the Royal Grand sounds. This is the flagship sound, and it sounds really good to me. Um, I've compared this to the actual sound on the board, and to me, it's about 95 to 98% there. Like, it, it's really accurate. All right, um, now, on the board itself, sometimes you'll hear a little more reverb. So over here, we have the reverb button where you could turn that up. I'm going to turn some of the lows up as well because that kind of, for me, brings it closer to that uh, sound from the board. So let me play a little bit more with that. So, like I said, Nord does a really great sound, uh, really great job giving you the sound of an actual piano. So, imagine, um, imagine just being in a room with the uh, the acoustics and everything playing uh, actual grand piano. That's what this gives me the feeling of. Um, so, I'm gonna add the pad onto here, uh, the pad I really like to use, which is called Chill Pad. Um, and here in the middle, we have a part mix where you can just Adjust it, put it all the way to the right, and you'll get all pad, or you go all the way to the left, you'll get all uh, piano. So I'm going to put it right about at 11 o'clock. And um, So this is the Royal Grand with the chill pad behind it.
right? So you see how the pad kind of gives it that warm uh, kind of undercurrent under the piano, and it, it really complements it well. All right, so I'm going to go on to the next piano sound, which is the Velvet Grand, all right? So here is the Velvet Grand. So that's the Velvet Grand right there. To me, that sounds really good as well. Um, I, I kept that chill pad under it. Um, and this is another, another really great piano from Nord. This is a little brighter to me than the Royal Grand is, but it's also very flexible and very useful. All right, next sound is the Silver Grand. That's a silver grand, another uh, another great option that you have in the ultimate stage pianos. All right, moving on to the next one, the Italian grand. All right, so the Royal Grand, like I said, is the flagship sound, um, but the second most popular sound that I usually hear is the Italian grand. All right, and it is it's for a reason. It has a very unique sound. I think that that sound is a, attributed to the Nord a lot of times. But here goes the Italian grand. So yeah, that's the Italian grand. Really bright sound, but it's a very unique sound that cuts through the mix. So it's very useful as well. All right, moving on to the fifth sound, which is the bright grand. All right, so I'm just going to play on that a little bit. Here's the bright grand.
right, cool. So that's the uh, that's the bright grand. It's a very bright sound, but it's a nice sound as well. Moving on to the next one, Grand Imperial. I'm going to change the pad here. Uh, let me go with um, Silver Rain. I'll just keep that as something just to change it up a little bit. I'll go over the pads later, but here's the Grand Imperial. Cool. So that's the Grand Imperial. A really clear, nice piano sound. All right. Moving on to the next one. Uh, this is the Grand Lady D. This is also a sound that I kind of, you know, uh, think of when I hear the Nord because uh, I hear a lot of people using this sound as well. It's a really nice sound. So here's the Grand Lady D. So that's the Grand Lady D, a very unique sound. Still sounds like a piano, but has its own unique touch. All right, so I'm going to go to the Studio Grand 1 next. All right, just going to play that for a little bit. So that's Studio Grand 1. Um, let me turn down the reverb a little bit and turn down this low. All right, moving on to Studio Grand 2. Here's Studio Grand 2. Studio Grand 2. Moving on to the next one, uh, Concert Grand Close.
next up we have Concert Grain Ambient. So here's that. Next, we have the electric grand amp. All right, so this is just an electric piano sound with an amp, electric grand sound. All right. So that's the electric grand amped. Now let's go to the electric grand CP80. All right. So this is uh, this is going to model after the CP80 sound um, that was popular in the 80s and 90s. All right. to that CP80 sound, all right? Next, we have the Electric Grand Ger Gerbatid, I guess. I don't know how to say that, but here it is. Next, we're moving on to the upright panels, all right? So the first one we have is the amber upright, all right? Really nice upright sound. I think, personally, that the uprights are the best that Nord has to offer. The grand pianos are very realistic, but these uh, uprights are, like, spot on. So here's the amber upright.
right? Next, we have the mellow upright. I really like this one because it's just like what it like exactly like it says, very mellow. So yeah, they did a really great job with that one. That one just sounds very mellow, very laid back, and you know something that like like you're practicing. If you have a um, if you have a upright piano, a lot of times the middle pedal will kind of like uh, damper the the well, not really damper, but like quiet the strings a little bit. So like if you were practicing and didn't want to wake people up, then you could do that. That's what the mellow upright reminds me of. All right. Next, we have the Grand Upright. Cool. So yeah, that's the grand upright. Next, we have the queen upright. is the black upright which has like to be a more defined sound like it, it really rings out all right so here's the black upright
next we have the honky tonk upright, which is something that you could probably find on most keyboards. <laughs> So I'm just fooling around. Not much to do there, but yeah, that's the honky tonk. Next, we have the saloon, which is kind of similar in a way. Next we have the romantic upright, all right, here it goes. upright. Next we have the blue suede upright. So that's the romantic upright, or sorry, the blue suede upright, all right? So next, let's go to the rain piano. So that's the last of the uprights. Now we're moving on to the electric pianos. The first one we have is E Piano 1 MK1 Low D. All right, so here it goes. <laughs> So yeah, that's a really nice road sound to use. Like I said, it's low and deep. Next, we have the E Piano 2 MK1 Plausadil. So here that goes. <laughs> So that's another e piano sound that uh, slight that differs from the first one. 
Next, we have the E Piano 3 MK Shallow. All right. Next, we have the E Piano 4 MKV Closadil. Uh, All right. So next we have the EP5 Bright Times Custom Mod. top vintage uh, six seven all right Next we have the E-Piano 7 MK1 Amped, all right, so here that goes. Next, we have the EP8, uh, Nerf, Nerfertiti, I guess, MK1-1970. Next, now we're out of the road sounds and we're into the uh, Wurlitzer sounds. So first we have the Wurlitzer 1-200A.
nice wordlets of sound there. Uh, let's go to the wordlets of two amped. So this is the same thing, but with an amp. That's a really nice whirly sound there. Next we have the Digigrand one. I'm just gonna move through these a little bit quicker. Then the Digigrand two. to the DX full times. is the DX Rubber Rose. All right, then next we have the Ballad EP1. Next we have the uh, ballad EP2.
right, so we got 43 sounds in all to choose from as far as pianos, all right? So really quick, I'm just going to go through the pad sounds um, because those are really great as well, all right? So if you want to play just pad, once again, you, you switch the part mix all the way to the right to the synth, all right? So here's the first one, Access Virus. Here's chill pad by itself. A really nice full pad sound. Here's the next one, Cloud Shimmer. Next, we have the crystal saw. So there's a, there's a few moving parts in that sound. That sounds really good. Something that you can use for like background or something. All right, next is Formata or Formanta. Next, we have huge ambient. There are 16 pad sounds. Uh, I, I know this video is going very long, so I don't want to go through all of them. But if you want to hear the rest, go hit up Ju Junior, Porcy, and Kula and get that ultimate stage pianos VST, because this is really great. Like I said, you got the 43 uh, piano sounds and you got 16 synth sounds. So, and there's so much that you could do with these. You could store the uh, sounds that you like or the patches that you like together. And it's just really great. For me, it's versatile to the point where I almost don't feel like I really need the Nord. It'll be great to have one one day. So shout out to Nord keyboards, but for now, I'm going to live off of this ultimate stage pianos. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for tuning in and until next time.